We get uh, tremendous traffic jams sometimes, uh, volumes increased. On a bad day, we could be waiting outside for an hour and then inside actually several hours. Tom Heimgartner's trucking company sends about 100 tractor trailers a day through Port Newark and Elizabeth. He's seen trucks backed up for miles and that means hours of wasted time while they wait to pick up shipping containers packed with consumer goods headed to a store near you and across the region. So Heimgartner applauds a $44 million federal grant that'll help fund road improvements along a critical corridor, Corbin Street, the port's main access route. It'll shave at least a half an hour to an hour a day out of uh, round trips. Think about the positive impact for public health and the planet made possible by a project that once complete will reduce over 700,000 hours of travel time for vehicles navigating the port complex in one year. Senators Bob Menendez and Cory Booker joined a group of officials to announce the U.S. Department of Transportation grant. About 15,000 trucks travel this corridor every day, 3,600 trucks an hour at peak. The improvements, part of a $176 million 10-year modernization project, will reconfigure Corbin, Port and Kellogg Streets and redesign the tightly curved Corbin Street ramp. The project's good for the port, it's good for the planet, and it's good for the people. It doesn't get better than that. It's also expected to cut the accident rate here by 40 percent. With trucks sometimes rushing to make appointments, this area has logged more than 400 accidents. With three deaths and 81 injuries, Port Authority Chairman Kevin O'Toole said a truck collided with a canine police vehicle just last week. The truck was going too fast. It literally careened on its side, smashed into the van, and we had a number of officers and dogs that were injured. They're all recovering, but it points to the fact that there needs to be some transportation reconfiguring, some safeguards in place. But it's not just trucker safety that's at issue here. The fumes from idling trucks pervade nearby Newark, where kids suffer from asthma at four times the national rate. It's four times the asthma rate, the number one reason our children miss school for health is asthma. It makes a massive difference in what should be a right for every child, which is to breathe clean air. Vulnerabilities to the more lower income communities is greater than in other communities. And so this particular project will make the air cleaner. You know, it's almost like we are the cost of doing business. Maria Lopez Nunez of the Ironbounds Community Corporation claims the Port Authority and trucking company should do more, pay to electrify their fleets, dump dirty diesel. We want new trucks and we don't want them at the cost, like on the backs of truck drivers, because truck drivers are part of our community. Heimgartner's firm bought two electric trucks, but says they're two to three times more expensive than diesel rigs. He'd like government help to go green. He's struggling to hire more drivers. It's all about the driver experience. The frustration of a driver sitting in traffic dissuades them from wanting to operate in the port. Which won't change anytime soon. This project will take years to complete. At Port Newark, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.